don't know if you can see this, but this, this is um, my exciting bee for the day today. This is a carpenter bee. Um, it's a solitary bee, one of about 220 different species of solitary bee. Um, some of them are carpenters, and carpenters do what, what you'd think they do. They sort of, um, they burrow into wood, rotten wood. They love rotten wood. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see. This is actually a bee hotel. I'm very reluctant to move away from her, but this is a bee hotel um, designed and made to attract mason bees and other smaller, tiny solitary bees. And it just happens to have an old bit of rotten wood on the top, which is kind of to shelter it from the rain. And uh, this is the first carpenter bee that it's attracted. And what she's doing is she's going to burrow into here. That's what she's doing now. Um, and then she'll go and collect a bit of pollen, a bit of nectar, and put it at the back of the tunnel and lay an egg. Then she'll go and collect some more pollen and nectar, and she'll keep putting that in her um, it's like the nest that she builds um, and block it off each time probably with a bit of mud until she's laid about half a dozen eggs um, it's got a very round bottom that's, that's a way that you can sort of tell oh, my lunch ready um, the carpenter bees and this is early July Ah, oh, this is fantastic. So she's headed off now, and I'm just going to... Again, rubbish camera, so I can't really show you, but that is the beginnings of a hole. So I'm guessing she's going to keep coming back again and again until she's dug it out completely, and then I'll start seeing her with little loads of pollen. Um, but not on the back of her legs, like honeybees um, and bumblebees. The solitary bees collect all the pollen on their abdomens. Very, very hairy. So that's what um, she's doing. Anyway, so this is a bit boring because I'm just videoing a hole now, so I'll switch off and maybe come back to it later.